What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. It helps me out. Really helps me grow. You know, my channel's growing pretty good, uh, but I want to see if we can make it grow up a little bit faster. We're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, hit it. Check out some of my other videos. I'm pretty sure I got something that you will enjoy. So today's video is on knot tying. A lot of you have been asking me to do a video on this, you know, ask me what knots do I tie in certain situations with certain lines. And I've been wanting to get around to doing this, but I finally did. I sat down in the boat and I'm, I explained what knots I use, the four knots that I use on every fishing trip pretty much. I show you all of them, how to tie them, you know, what lines I use them with, what techniques I use them with and all that. So I think you'll really learn something. In this video, if you're a newcomer or even if you are an experienced angler, uh, you know, what line braid to lead or not I use, I think you might, it might really surprise you. I think you might really learn something on that. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into the video and let's start tying some knots. All right, so we're gonna start with the age old classic polymer knot. Now this is the first knot that I ever learned how to tie. I believe I was six years old when my dad taught me how to tie this and I remember sitting in my living room floor tying it over and over and over until I had finally learned how to tie it. Now it is one of the most simple knots and one of the strongest knots that you can tie. You can use this knot for everything. You can use it for braid, mono, copolymer, fluorocarbon, absolutely whatever you choose this knot can be used for. Now this is my exclusive knot that I use for braid. I tied no other knot with braid. I only used the polymer knot. So I'm gonna show you all how to tie it. I'm gonna try to put this as close to the lens as I can so you can see how to tie it, but very, very easy, easy, easy knot to tie and super, super strong. So here we have our braid right here. And what you want to do is you want to double it. So take your line and double it, just like this. It's doubled up, holding the loop in on this side doubled up so take this hand go up and pinch right up here so you can see the line is doubled now i have my frog here i have the eye i'm going to run this braid through the eye of the frog now you have to pinch it kind of tight because braid's pretty limp but we're going to run it through the eye of the frog so we're right here through the eye of the frog all right so you want to make sure when you make your loop you want to make sure that you make it big enough where you can tie the knot and over, you know, go over your lure. Now I, I'll show you what I mean by that. So here you have your doubled line, you have your frog on there. Now you're gonna come over, you're gonna cross, and you're gonna run the loop end through the open hole of the knot. Now all we're doing is we're tying an overhand knot. So we just tied an overhand knot. That's all we did. So you want to pull it, not until it's all the way cinched down, but you want to leave it loose. And then you want to take your lure and your tag end right here, you run your lure through your tag end. So just like that. You run your lure through this tag end. So now you have this tag end hanging down. You bring it up in front of your bait. And don't, don't let this tag in go back through the loop. You don't want to allow that. You want to leave that out. So you have your loop. Now you want to moisten this line with spit or whatever you want to do it with. And then you want to pull both ends tight. Just like that. Boom. That is the easiest knot to tie. That is a polymer knot. And that is my exclusive knot that I use for braid. So remember, double your line through the eye, regular overhand knot, carry your bait through the loop of the tag end, and then pull both ends tight. Now you want to moisten it with water, you, whatever you want to use, spit, you can use whatever, but that's how you do the polymer knot. Very, very simple knot. Super, super strong knot. And like I said, that is my exclusive knot that I use for braid. So I'm also gonna tell you what else I use that knot for. I use that knot 
for when. If you watch my channel, you know I use snaps a lot. All right, so I always tie my snaps on with a polymer knot. So I throw my jerk bait with a snap, I throw my crank baits with a snap, and I throw some top orders like a Bangalore um, and you know baits like that. I throw a devil's horse um, with a snap as well. So I tie a polymer knot with lures, you know, when I'm using a snap. I tie on a snap with a polymer knot. So basically, what I use braid on, I tie, I tie a polymer knot, and then a moving type lure where I use a snap. All right, so that's the first one. That's the good old polymer knot, age old classic. And you know, it's a great knot. So here I have another knot coming at you that I use all the time as well. And I'm sure that a lot of you use it as well. Now this is the improved clinch knot. All right, so this is also a super duper simple knot to tie. Very strong. I like to use this knot, you know, when I'm doing, you know, flipping with copolymer, if you use fluorocarbon, whatever, because the polymer knot is easy when you're setting the hook hard, it's easy to break your line at the knot because of the way the loop comes over and it cinches back on itself. It can be easy to break the knot, you know, break your line at the knot on a hook set. And I set the hook really, really hard. So this is 20 pound test balls X right here. It's very, very small diameter. So I tie an, an improved clinch knot for my flipping when I'm using this pound test line. Anything between, you know, 14 to 20, somewhere in there, I use the improved clinch for my flipping. So you have your eye, your hook, you have a single line. You don't double with the improved clinch. Single line right here. Now you run your line through the eye, through the eye, all right? So here you have it through the eye. All I did is I'm holding this line here with my pinky just like this, and I have it through the eye. So what you want to do is you want to spin your lure around, I usually do like seven times, somewhere in there. So take it and you count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so seven times, so you can see where the line is looped around, and I still have my tag in right here. So you want to take your tag end and run it through this loop right here at the eye of your hook. So run it through the loop, just like that. So it's through the loop, and then you want to run your tag in back through that loop that you created when you ran your line through the loop. Now you want to wet this, and you want to pull it. That sometimes you have to, I'd like to take my fingers. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I like to take my fingers and actually push the knot down, kind of to help it seat. So you're not, I don't feel like I'm like, you know, burning my line in any way. So I like to push it down and then cinch it tight. Just like that right there. Super simple knot. It's a good clean knot. It's not big, it's not bulky. And you can cut off the tag end and then boom, you're done. Put your worm back up weight down slide that barber stopper down and you are ready to roll right there so that is the improved clinch knot like i said i use this knot for especially flipping style baits if i'm using smaller diameter lines so anything from like 14 to 20 you can use you know 12 10 12 pound test you know whatever you want to use uh you know for for that as far as that goes you know uh, shaky head anything like that the smaller test diameters up till about 20 is what i use the improved clinch knot for not my moving bait stuff in particular but all you know shaky head you know flipping throwing a worm you know casting a worm big ribbon tail something like that that is the knot that i use so that is the second knot that i use when i'm out on the water all right so here we have another flipping setup and I have a little bit bigger line on this particular one. Now this is 25 pound test balls X. And this is for when I'm flipping that heavy stuff, flipping, uh, you know, matted vegetation. I'm flipping wood cover pads, you know, stuff like that. Hydrilla, you know, whatever. 
This is where I use the regular clinch knot. The regular clinch knot is just like the improved clinch knot, but minus one step. So I like to use the clinch knot when I'm using heavier lines. So anything above 20 pound test, I use the clinch knot. Very strong knot. It, it doesn't slip, uh, you know, when you use the higher pound test lines. Now, if you get under 20, this knot can slip. So I only use it when I go above 20 pound test. So basically you do it just like the improved clinch that I had shown right here. You have your line and you run it through the eye of your hook. All right, so you want to do the same thing. Hold your line right here with your pinky. You have this line here and you want to twist it one. We're gonna do it seven times, same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like I said, this line's super thick. It's super thick. I think this is 0.43. So it's a big, heavy line. So we're going back through the loop that we created. If I can get it through there, just like that. You want to moisten your line and you want to pull it down tight. Now that is not slipping for nothing. Super tight. You can see tighten down good right there. We're going to clip off that tag in and then we're going to slide our bait up and we're ready to rock. Weight down, bobber stopper down, we're ready to go. That is the clinch knot. So like I said, heavy line. If I'm using heavy line, that is where I use the clinch knot. You know, you don't want to use that in the lower pound test. You know, some people do use it and they do more twist. They do 10, 12 twist. I think that makes the knot very bulky. You're better off to go with an improved clinch if you're going with a lighter pound test. So now we're going to get to the fourth knot that I use and that is my line to leader knot. Now I don't see hardly anybody use this knot. I think I know one other guy that uses it. Now I'm not really sure what the name of it even is. I've heard people call it the Creed knot, a lefty Creed knot. I'm not, I think I saw it on YouTube, but I've been using it for years and years and years. And I want to show y'all it. I, I don't use um, the, the uni to uni like a lot of people use or uni knot, however you want to call it. I don't use that. There's a lot of uh, different line to leader knots. There's a ton. And they're really hard. Some of them can be really hard to tie and especially hard to tie like in the wind. Um, you know, it, it can make it very difficult and they can take away from your fishing time a lot of times if you're, you're in a fishing in a tournament situation, you know, something like that. So this knot is extremely easy to tie. It is an awesome knot. It is a strong knot. Now, we'll say that it doesn't give you the absolute smallest knot diameter when it's finished, but it is a smooth knot. It goes through the guides well, and it's very, very strong. So I'm going to tie it for you. I'll show you how I use it. And this is the exclusive knot that I use for a line to leader knot. Now, I'm going to use a larger pound test line. This is 23 pound test, Balzac's Tarantula. But I'm going to use this line uh, you know, just so y'all can see it a little bit better than a, you know, very big line. And I'm going to show you, I do it, I, I, you can do this knot two different ways. Um, well, it's kind of the same, but minus one little step, but very, very easy knot to tie. I'm going to try to get close to the camera here so y'all can really, really see this. So I have my braid here and I have my, this is copolymer, I have my copolymer here. So what you want to do is take your braid and your copolymer and double them. So you can see here that I have my braid and I have my copolymer and I'm holding them right in the middle, just like this, right in the middle. So here's my braid, here's my copolymer. This is super, super easy. Now you want to take your fingers and slide them to each end, almost to each end of your braid and copolymer so your line is doubled just like this. So it's doubled just like this right here. All right, now you want to take your line and sometimes I twist it so it doesn't separate, but you want to just basically push it so you end up with a loop. All right, so you end up with a loop. Now I'm gonna show you that step again. So here it's doubled 
and you push it around so you end up with a loop. So here's your braid, here's your copolymer, monofluorocarbon, whatever you have right here. Take your finger, stick it in the middle right here. Hold the top end with this finger. And here you have your braid and copolymer right here. My finger's in it. So this is what you do. This is what you do. Braid, copolymer. Keep your finger in it. One, twist, two, twist, three, twist. So you've twisted your line three times right there. Three times you have your finger in the middle. You have your braid end here, your copolymer going down to your leader on this side. You take your thumb and stick it in the hole to separate your braid and copolymer. And then you have your braid loop and your mono copolymer fluorocarbon leader right here on this end. You run that through to your finger and you pull that through. Pull that through. All right, so we're pulling it through. There's our leader coming through. You can see it right there. Now wet this knot. Wet that knot. Take your copolymer end and your braid. These are the tag ends and pull them tight. Pull them tight. All right, we just pulled them tight and then I grabbed the main line, pulled them tight. Look at that knot right there. Boom, right there. We're gonna trim this down nice and short. And I mean, this is a small knot. I sit there and acted like it's not the smallest uh, line to leader knot you can tie. It is a super small knot, as you're about to see. This knot is very small. And this is 23 pound copolymer. This is not small copolymer. That knot right there, that is the best, I believe, the best line to leader knot that you can tie. Absolutely. Look at that knot right there. I'm going to put my thumb so you can see it on it. Very small compact knot extremely extremely strong it is an awesome knot i don't see anybody using that line to leader knot and it is so simple to tie it is the easiest thing ever practice that knot look back through this video watch it and it's very very easy to tie very easy to tie lines doubled over you make a loop finger through three times then carry your braid tag in and your leader through the loop pull it through make sure everything comes together decent wet the knot pull it together crazy crazy easy line to leader knot to tie awesome awesome knot awesome knot so there's the quick video right there i'm gonna i'm gonna tie the old fluke up here and i'm gonna this is 23 pound test so i'm gonna tie it with the regular old clinch knot which is super easy to tie right here four five six seven right here coming through boom boom through just like that and we're locked up that's the original clinch knot like i showed y'all earlier and super super good knot humidity out here is like 120 right now so i'm super super sweaty uh but that is a little crash course of the four knots that i tie and these are knots that i feel like everybody should know how to tie absolutely everybody should know how to tie them uh, because they are very easy they're very strong and they're good knots and every time you go out on the water these knots can be utilized for lots of different techniques like i said braid exclusively a polymer knot for me moving baits um you know my buzz baits on braid polymer knot you know, my flipping heavy stuff, heavy flipping flipping stuff with heavy mono, fluorocarbon, copolymer, whatever you use. I use the clinch knot and the anything 20 pound test and under the improved clinch knot, the original clinch knot for the heavier line, the improved clinch knot for the lighter line. That's the knots I use on a daily basis. That's it. Very, very simple. I try to keep fishing simple, make it as simple as possible. A lot of people take it and uh you know really make it a lot more difficult than it has to be i try not to do that especially when you're out on the water you want to tie knots that are fast knots that are effective and knots that are strong and ones where they're not going to come undone or you're going to lose fish or whatever those knots are the knots i use you should learn them and use them too 
And then if you want to, you know, expand and use some of those crazy knots that some of the other guys use, some of the pros and all, a little bit more difficult to tie, go for it. But these are the ones I use. I wanted to show you all of them. And uh, there you go. So I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. Go check out some of my other videos as well. And I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.